Hello and welcome back. It's your old pal, Mushmouth Joe. I just wanted to do a quick follow-up on Daryl Brooks, or as some of you may know him. The defendant. I've started multiple videos like this one, but I keep abandoning them. I guess I'm a bit tapped out on the subject. But one thing this trial has done that continues to surprise me is it has brought many folks together who would otherwise be arguing. Almost everyone agrees on the basic principles. Brooks is guilty, he's a total lump of shit, and he deserves to rot. When I started this channel, my number one goal was to make jokes that both sides of the culture war could laugh at. When I uploaded my first Daryl Brooks video, I only had 50 subscribers. I had no clue how much interest there still was, in this case at the time. The trial was already over, and for some reason, I couldn't get it out of my mind. So after getting so many views on day one, I was thrilled. But I also immediately understood that I would be gaining subs because of Daryl Brooks. At first, I wasn't happy about that. But when I realized I could accomplish my goal of reaching a politically mixed audience, I just went with it. Because this trial is a very rare occurrence. It may be the first time since before 9-11 so many folks agreed on the same issue. But unfortunately, all things must come to an end. And I just can't listen to Daryl's voice anymore. He makes me sick. Plus, this channel has been completely blacklisted by YouTube because we've been having way too much fun around here. Shame on all of you. You know you're not supposed to be getting along with each other. It's against the rules. So I've started a second channel as an attempt to at least try to do as the YouTube overlords have suggested, to not use so much clipped content from other YouTubers. But this channel isn't going anywhere, and I'll be busy with both. This one will remain the primary channel, but I am currently focused on the other one. This is temporary. But some of the content posted here may not be what you're looking for. No one will be offended if you skip some or even most of my other videos. I've got a few other ideas before Sarah Boone's trial begins, but it all depends on how much fun I'm having on the gaming channel, where we'll see how things go. For now, I've got a quick update on something that happened regarding a witness in the Brooks trial. Check it out, she answered my question live. My question to Corey Runkle was as follows. How badly did you want to punch him when he was allowed to verbally abuse you in the courtroom? <laughs> How bad did I want to freaking hit him? If you guys didn't notice, while I was in court, I was smiling. Uh, me smiling means I'm holding back my anger and I'm thinking, hey, it was like you're lucky you're in handcuffs because you know what? You're lucky you're in court. Otherwise, if I was to do something, I would be put in jail too. Because I was told by um, the the feds and all that stuff not to um, not to do anything. Otherwise, I was going to be put in, in jail. So all I could do is smile. I felt really stupid smiling because the fact of some of the comments, I wanted to beat his ass. He wanted to sit there and twist words around. I was like, bro, I was like, why are you trying to twist words around? I was like, I haven't had sleep for two days because I had to come to your fucking court and you want to sit there and you want to twist your little fucking words around. So her connection goes bad and when it comes back, she had moved on. So with that, I'll move on as well. To the next video, Mr. Brooks, if you wholeheartedly consent to going back to what you were doing before this hearing, please give me a thumbs up. All right, excellent. Thanks for watching, everybody. Pressure.